Hey guys, welcome back to some Conan Exiles, and today I want to focus on making a base, and what we're going to do is, first thing, we're going to jump into these journey steps, because you guys were telling me from the last episode that yes, these journey steps are really important, and you can get some pretty cool stuff from it, so I'm really interested to check this out. Now, we do have the survivor one here, so we're going to claim the reward for that, which gives us supply materials. I guess we'll kind of look into that in a bit, what that's exactly about. We do have this one, which is the survival shelter. Uh, long story short, it looks like that we would need to build a foundation, build a wall, build a door frame. So essentially, this seems to be the one that we need to... Oh, God, that's like a really, really long one. But seems like this is the one that we should do. We also have down here the homesteader. Uh, this is going to be for crafting furniture. No, okay, so we want to do survival shelter. So let's go ahead and... Okay, cool. So it actually unlocks everything that we've already done along the way. Cool, so I don't have to go back and make a hatchet and all that kind of stuff. Sweet. Okay, let's jump into our inventory here. I am curious to see what this is about. Uh, so we're going to use this, and that gave us 500 wood and 500 plant fiber, or 500 branches, rather. It's pretty cool. Okay, whoop, wrong button. Sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, long story short, that's what we're going to focus on today. So... Or at least that's what we're going to focus on for the beginning of this episode. So, uh, if you guys find yourself enjoying this one, of course, guys, take a second. Make sure to smash that like button. Really excited to be back in Conan, though. And you guys have been telling me from the last episode, my God, the amount of changes to this game. And I know there's going to be a lot, but you guys are telling me, oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's a lot more than you're probably thinking, which that's probably true. What the hell is going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we picked this stuff up, though, in the last episode, so I'm curious what's here. If anything. Nope, it's just my dead body. Okay, sounds good. We'll leave it there. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's use the hatchet here. Uh, equip your stone hatchet and swing it at the tree with right button. Okay. Right button. What about right trigger? That doesn't... It's the same thing. Okay, Craft a construction hammer is the next step. So let's go ahead and do that. How do we do that? Okay, so construction hammer. That's a repair hammer. A heavy unwielding hammer for repairing structures. This has to be it, right? Oh, no, it's probably this one. The construction hammer. Yeah. Okay, so you need 20 wood and 5 twine. So let's do that. Let's also get the repair one too, I guess. There we go. Cool. We got that stuff in the process. Build a foundation. So with your construction hammer equipped, press left button to display a selection of different building pieces. <gasps> That's cool. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Now, can I... Is this going to be like grounded where I can kind of pre-build and then put the stuff in? That would be actually kind of cool. Let's take a quick look over here. We may have to work ourselves right back over uh, to get ourselves some wood and stuff, but... That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm I'm kind of hoping that's kind of the route that they went, similar to Grounded. A couple other games do this, of course, but maybe not. We'll have to see. So let's grab you. Uh, construction hammer. That's you. All right, we'll play, replace you with that for right now, and we'll replace you with that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so cycle the build mode. Uh, let's see. With your construction hammer, press left button. <gasps> oh. And we got two different types of... Oh. <laughs> you guys are going to be... Oh, my God. You guys are going to be so annoyed by the end of this episode. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're going to do this flotsam or whatever it's called. This looks cool. This looks really cool. Okay. I have a feeling this came with... um. What's the other one? It's not Exile Lands. That's the one we're on now. The second one. Sipta or whatever. I'm pretty sure this came with Sipta. So you know what? Let's do that. Let's use these guys. Let's see what this is all about. So what? how do I place one down? Right button to switch to remove. RB is to place. Okay, sounds good. So yeah, screw it. Let's put one here. One here. I don't have enough materials to build. All right. Never mind. <laughs> We're going to have to go out and get a few things. That's fine. All right. We'll pick up a few sticks around here. Anyways, I don't want to break the stone as of yet. We're just going to make a little structure right here. Nothing too crazy. Maybe like a two by three. Just to kind of get an idea of how the building and stuff works in this game. Because like I mentioned before, obviously, 
been a while since I played this. It's been a while since I built and everything in this game, and I don't know, really, really excited about it. We definitely need to put down some storage relatively soon, too. But let's get a little bit of stone. Oops. Let's get a little bit. Of... Oh. There we go. Let's get a little bit of stone. That's gonna help with making these structures here. Let's just get as much stone as we can. I don't mind breaking these. Come on. Come. There. We go. Yeah, we're totally gonna uncum encumber our character, but that's fine. 188, 200. Yeah, that's good. All right, stone hatchet. You know what? The one thing that I'm not too much of a fan of compared to what it used to be is because now I'm encumbered, I'm not going to be able to go into here and make structures, right? So I can't just have structures ready to go. Eh, that kind of stinks. Okay. I mean, again, it's going to be a learning curve. It's going to be kind of figuring it all out, but that's fine. Uh, we did gain a level. So I'm kind of wondering if I should put the level into weight. Let's have a quick look here. Attributes. Uh, is this weight? Yeah, that's the maximum amount of weight. Grit. Strength will also slightly increase. Yeah, screw it. Let's go strength then. Ah, we're still encumbered. <laughs> Damn it. All right, that's fine. Hopefully we can swim across. That would be nice. But it is going to take a second or two for us to get back over. And like I said, we're not making anything crazy. Just a two by three for right now. Yeah, man. Uh, let's get you equipped. Yeah, see, so it can already tell me on the bottom that I can make a total of five of these. Okay, that's cool. So you kind of know already how much you're going to be able to put in. That's fine. Um, oh no. Am I going to drown? No, I'm not. We're just going to slowly but surely work our way over. Okay. Yeah, so water is still invincible, essentially. Because there's nothing that can kill you in the water, right? Like, there's no... I mean, I know there's gators and stuff, but they, for some reason, they won't actually go in the water, which is kind of funny. So... I think we'll be okay. It'll just take a few extra seconds to get over here. Starting to turn night already, if I'm not mistaken, right? Oh my god. Alright. Let's see, though, because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure you can also get eclipses and stuff, so I definitely want to take a, take a look at that. See if we get one at some point. But yeah, looking pretty good so far. Okay, so where do I want to build this one? Eh, let's go here. Do I want to go three here? Or do I want to go here? Eh, let's go here. There we go, two by three, perfect. Okay, so now... Now I want to build a door frame, but we don't have enough wood. Great. Nope, we don't have enough wood for pretty much anything. I can make it plenty of this, just not the other stuff. Okay, that's fine. All right, back over to the other side. No, wait. Oh, there we go. Exit building mode. That's what I need. Okay. But yeah, I guess that's a little bit of a disadvantage is the fact that you can't build stuff in your inventory. So you kind of can't hang out over here, get all your structures, then go back to the mainland. And... Oh, God, what does that sound? Um, I don't know. I don't have a torch. Okay, anyways. The good news is, I know it's a little bit dark right now, guys, but uh, night goes pretty quickly, so it shouldn't be too long of this. And I apologize, I don't think I have a torch on me either, so we're going to kind of just have to deal with it. All right, there we go. We'll head back over because I know we're pretty much encumbered at this point. We'll make a few more pieces. But yeah, pretty much this is what we're going to be doing. Just back and forth. Let's get basically... We're going to build a wall right now, so hopefully we'll get that journey step. We're getting pretty close to completing this too. I, I'm curious to see what else we get. Uh, I'm a little hesitant on 
unlocking whatever it is, though, because we don't really have the weight to kind of work with it, but we'll kind of figure it out here. So, here we go. Let's go to LB. Let's go U. Uh, good. Uh, build a door frame. We already did. Ah, uh, do I have to... Uh, is it going to... Can I destroy you? How do I destroy you? Like, what if I put this in and I don't want it? Uh, switch to remove hold. Right bumper. Hold. Uh, okay, so right bumper is remove. I don't know if we got all of our pieces back. I don't think we did. We might have, actually. Okay. Uh, let's put this back down just so we can complete that journey step. Okay, that was my bad before. Uh, let's put in a window. I guess this is a window. Okay. I mean, that looks kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. All right, window. Window. We'll do normal walls for the rest of it. Uh, what happened here? No. No, I don't want you. Uh, right bumper. Remove. Uh, let's see, left bumper. Yeah, it's just going to take a second to kind of learn this whole concept here, guys. So I do apologize with the, uh, 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 <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. All right. So we got, what, three more that we need? Why is it not? Yeah. Okay. So we need more wood and everything. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, we got the moon up. That's cool. Oh, that's moving kind of quickly, actually. Uh, all right. So we need, what, one, two, three more pieces, and then we need a few more. Okay gonna keep going back and forth i know guys i mentioned this in the last episode i'll, I'll mention it again i don't want to get rid of the trees around here i don't want to get rid of the rocks around here i kind of want to keep it looking nice and i gotta say so far it's not looking too bad looking like a little house <laughs> all right we'll move over this way uh we'll grab some trees from this side get a little bit of wood kind of rinse and repeat go back and forth hopefully we have this base uh built relatively quickly though All right, so it seems like the next journey step is using the building piece picker. Press the right analog thingy while targeting a building piece to select it for your next building piece. Okay, I mean, it was it already was the next piece, so I don't know, but... Okay, build more walls, that's fine. We can build, build, and build a ceiling. Okay, we're gonna get to that point right now, actually. So, left bumper, uh, I wanna put on... What's the difference? Oh, left and right. No, no shit, Sherlock. Okay. But you? No, we could actually do too. It might look kind of silly. Nah, we're not going to do that just yet. We'll see. That might be a little silly though. Actually. Yeah, what if we did it like that? I don't know. Ah, screw it. We're fine. All right, right. All right, add our face on that. Well, now we get to see what it looks like. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe we will keep it. We'll see. I think I'll probably end up getting rid of it, to be honest. There we go. All right. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Uh, remove. And now we got to do the ceiling. So left bumper again, one more time. I guess we're going to put you down. You're the sloped roof. Hopefully that's going to count as a ceiling. Uh, how do I rotate? Left trigger. Okay. So I guess it's that. Can't really see, but... Okay. Oh, uh, man. Okay. So there, there, there. It does look really nice, I gotta say. 
It does look really cool. Nah, they're not going to consider that a ceiling. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. So, let's construct you again. Left bumper. Let's just take one of you and put you down here. Just so we can craft that. And then we're going to use you to remove. Because I don't actually need that. All right, now we got to put in a door. Uh, let's see. Door. Is that facing the right way? Yeah, that seems like it. All right. Unlock the box mat. Box maker knowledge. I was going to call it the box master. Oh my god. Wooden boxes give you a safe place to store your things. Unlock the box maker from the knowledge menu. You can access the knowledge window by pressing. They forgot something there, clearly. <laughs> okay, so let's press B to get out of that. Uh, I gotta say, it does look kind of cool, though. I don't know. I like this weird kind of design compared to what we traditionally had, which is like all the stone and everything. And I think the stone probably fits this area a little bit better, but eh, you give me something new and shiny, I'm definitely going to want to take advantage of it and take a look at it. So, all right, let's jump into the menu here. Knowledge. What the heck am I looking for? It's probably this, right? Box maker. Yeah, there we go. All right, access or place a wooden box. Okay, so let's see if we can make one. Oh, I wonder if we need the tool also for that. Let's see. No. All right, safely storing resources. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Access or place. How am I? It's not over here, though. <laughs> Did I not fully unlock it? I guess I didn't. I mean... A wooden box crafted with a construction hammer. What the frig? Left bumper. Am I just not seeing it? No, it's definitely not here. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I know you guys are probably screaming at me in the comments. Okay, so we need 100 wood and 12 twine in order to make a storage box. Okay. All right, not too bad. So we definitely have enough twine, right? Yeah, let's craft 10. That'll be good enough. And then we're going to need 100 wood. So again, going to be doing a little bit of traveling. We should probably be able to get 100 out of those trees over there. Let's see, are we gonna get a total of 146? Not too bad. Ninety-nine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright. Uh no, not gonna head over there. Just there. Eh, there's a tree right over here. We'll just do that. There we go. Okay, finally. Cool. Yeah, sorry guys with like a lot of the pausing and stuff like Oh come on, where the hell did you come from? <laughs> you weren't over here before. What the hell? All right, well, all right, I guess we'll kill you. That's fine. I probably should have put the door on this side if I'm going to be honest, but it's fine. We can always switch things around. Yeah, a lot of this is going to be figuring it out all out and stuff, guys. So I do apologize if there's a lot of silent moments and a lot of trying to figure out and everything. I know you guys have probably played this game and everything, so you know exactly what I'm trying to do. Just a matter of actually getting it done, if you will. So jump inside here. Let's kind of see how this base. I mean, it's looking. You know, it's a base. It's a base. It's fine. All right. So let's put the... Ah, damn it. All right. Left bumper. We're going to go to crafting stations, storage, select, and we'll kind of just place you right in the corner here. I believe there's like a better one that you can get eventually. But for right now, this should be fine. 
Uh, please. There we go. All right, store something in the wooden box. Okay, how do I just store all? How do I do that again? So, more, give all. Let's just do that. There we go. Now, we can just go through and pick, like, what we need and everything like that. But for right now... Okay, so we're done with that journey. Oh, cool. Okay. Awesome. Now, I'm going to take a few things out here. I actually don't... I want to take you. I want to take you. Uh, We can put you away. We can put you away. And I want to take you. And you. And you. Everything else I think we can put away at this point. You. This expires in 15 minutes. Okay, we're going to drop this down here. I guess we're going to be eating that. I guess we lost the really good one. Uh, this is a normal hunting bow. We can drop you. Actually, I could just put you away. Give me that. Hunting bow, yeah, you'll go away. And then... Yeah, everything else we'll keep. Cool. Okay, so you'll come down here. And you can get put away. All right, there we go. I think we're looking good at this point. So we'll keep an extra of that. We have a couple of more uh, rough wraps and everything. We have the powerful hunting bow here too. That's fine. We have the crappy bow, which we'll drop. And then we have a couple arrows. Sweet. Okay. All right. Looking good. Let's see what we actually unlocked with that now. Okay. So attributes, journey, the shelter's all done. So we'll claim the reward for that. We'll get another survival kit. Uh, I'm a little worried opening this up. I have a feeling it's going to be... Let's see. More? Nope. I want to use. Ooh! Okay, so we got a torch. We got a... Rawhide bedroll. A normal bedroll. Aloe extract. Healing wraps. And we got lasting feast. Which will increase carrying capacity. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Didn't realize foods can do that for you, but that's cool. It's good to know. We got this healing wrap. We'll definitely use this next as opposed to this rough wrap or whatever. But I think right now we're pretty close to leveling already. So you know what? Where the frig is that? Where's that turtle that was hanging out on our island? Is it gone? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's check out the next journey step at this point. Screw it. We're just going to keep going with this. Okay. So survivor we've done. Survivor shelter we've done. We have archer already done. We have Warrior. Warrior is going to be Dodge, Kick, Stone Club, Target Lock, Heavy Attack, Sunder, Defender Knowledge, Craft a Shield, Block an Attack. Oh, this is all stuff that I was going to do before. Oh. Okay, what's Sharpshooter? Oh, uh, that's a little too early. That's a little too advanced for us. So the homesteader. No, I'm not going to do that either right now. All right, I think we're just going to go on a killing spree. I think I'll unlock this journey, but I don't know if we're going to get this done in this one. Uh, but dodge pretty much. Just press the B. Kick. Left trigger. Just kidding. So if you're unequipped, there we go. Uh, craft a stone club. All right, I guess we're going to actually do this. Stone Club, that is you. 5 and 20. Now, I know we have the resources. I'd rather just... We'll just keep those... We'll just keep those away. We'll do it this way. Uh, we have 20. We can break this rock. That's fine. There we go. All right. All right, Stone Club... Target lock an enemy. Okay, I guess we'll just head over to that one. Now, do I have to use the... No, I think it's just target locking specifically. I was going to say, do I actually have to use that weapon, the stone club? Because I really don't want to. There we go. But that's how to target lock. Uh, heavy attack is with the right trigger. <laughs> Why can't I? Oh, there we go. I can roll. I gotta say, I really do like the mechanics. 
it's not like it used to be. Like, I feel like it used to be just mashing the buttons and everything like that. Now it's kind of like you really do have to have a bit of a rhythm, which is cool. So, all right, let's chop these guys up. It looks like we also had another journey step, like killing shellbacks or something. So we've already started that. Uh, oh, so we have to apply Sunder, which means we do need this. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to use this healing wrap right now because we really need that. All right. Oh, wow. That healing wrap is doing pretty well, actually. And we'll use a couple of rough wraps, too. And I think that should get us all the way back up to full health. Oh, wait. If you stop the animation, it doesn't actually work. So, like, watch. Screw it. It's a rough wrap. Who cares? So I'll start this and start walking. Oh, no. Never mind. Yeah, see? It, like, stops it. So you have to let the whole process go before you can move again. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if that's intended as a bug or that's actually legit. Still kind of cool. Kind of interesting. All right. All right. We're going to press right trigger on this one. There we go. Applied sender. the shield. No thank you. At least not right now. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I am liking the movements and everything, and I, I apologize, guys. I don't like the target locking, so it is going to be a little wonky when fighting stuff. I don't know, I just feel like when you have it on target lock specifically, your character just moves a lot slower. Now, I know we, we're using this thing and everything compared to the two-handed. I don't know, though. It just seems... I don't know. Uh, we're going to take on this croc over here just to show you guys what I kind of mean. Because we got a couple bodies over here. Are you a... No, you're a normal one. Okay. But yeah, see, I feel just slower, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's just I got to get the movements down and everything. Uh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Shoot. Okay, there we go. I don't know. I guess we'll kind of go back and forth because I'm not really sure which one I prefer as of yet. Uh, oh, we got a couple bodies over here. Okay, let's see. What did you have? You got arrows. You got arrows. And you got arrows. Sweet. Okay. All right, but we need to craft a shield now in order to do that. And I feel like we're just repeating ourselves because we actually did this in the first episode. Uh, four twine, 16 wood. Okay. All right, there's the wood. All right, and that should be the twine. Perfect. All right, so craft the stone pot. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, 30 stone, eight branches okay sorry about that guys yeah no if i knew if i kind of knew these new journey steps i wouldn't have done half this stuff in the first episode so you know you live and learn no big deal hopefully you guys are enjoying this though <laughs> all right let's see all right that's enough stone now we just need branches how many branches did i need like six or eight or something Is that enough? Eight. 
All right, crafting the pike. Apply a cripple to an enemy. Weapons such as the pike and two-handed sword may inflict the crippled condition. Okay, so you press right trigger. Okay, so we actually didn't need the pike because we already had the two-handed. Okay, sounds good. Now, what do we want to attack? I really don't want to go over there yet. Because, yeah, there's some ones that we can kill that are easy, but there's, like, the red ones that are a little bit tougher. So... Oh, there we go. We got one over here. Oh, no, we got a big one over here, too. Uh, all right. Well, babies of this. Oh, wait. This actually counts towards the... <laughs> defeating the shellbacks? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you know what? We'll go after you just so we can apply the purple. Okay, there we go. So we completed the journey step. Uh, where are my daggers? I prefer these things. There we go. Seven out of ten shellbacks dead. Sweet. Uh, okay, so we didn't actually need the shield for anything. Interesting. Uh, we can return that item. And yeah, okay. So let's drop... What did we originally have there? Yeah, the skinning knife, wasn't it? Okay. There we go. I feel like we're only getting hide from the skinning knife, though. We're not really getting... Oh, we got a little bit of flesh, but... I don't know. Yeah, that is kind of morbid, thinking that... I mean, I'll be able to get this real easily with the kids. <laughs> uh, okay, well, you know what? Screw it. We also unlocked a few things. Uh, so, you know what? Yeah, here's another kid. Wait, I want to see something. Can I... No. <laughs> 8 out of 10. I was kind of hoping, or at least the intent the intent was jumping off the rock and kind of just slicing it midair. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Anyways, there should be another one or two over here, right? There was earlier. I guess not. All right, well, I guess while we're at it, you know what? Let's go to attributes real quick. Uh, we have a total of two points to spend at this point. Uh, grit. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that'll get us tenacity, which increases our armor by 40 and our stamina by 20. So you know what? That's actually a pretty good one to have. Good. <clears throat> but yeah, we need to find two more shale backs. And while we're at it, rough wraps. We're going to go through these things real quick. I can already tell. But yeah, see how much it's... Yeah, see how much that health has gone up? Oh my god. Just by letting the animation roll out. But yeah, let's go to the journey step. Let's actually claim this reward, which is the brawler... What? What do we get? We got this. A weapon repair kit. A toolkit for repairing damaged weapons. Oh, huh. okay. Cool. Is there anything else that we got? Uh, I guess if we did, I don't, I don't see it here. Okay. All right. Well, we need two more kids. Where are, yeah, I guess we'll just go over to that other island. That is what it is. We'll just stay away from the red ones. They're not too, too bad to deal with, honestly, but for right now, I don't know. Uh, there's another red one. Oh God, there's a red one. There's a green one. Okay, so I think we'll go for the green one if we can. I mean, if we get the red... If we kill a red one, we might just get a level. Hmm. A lot of red ones, though. Yeah, let's stick to the green one. Make this easy with the daggers, too. Alright, 9 out of 10. Perfect. There we go. A little bit of savory flesh. Oop. 
Come on. Nope. There we go. Alright, cool. I don't know what that gave us, but cool. All right, so right now let's take a quick look at these knowledge points and stuff like that. Oh, we do have challenges, actually. I wonder if this is... Oh. Uh, this is what it is. Challenges. Complete challenges to unlock levels in the battle pass. I don't know what that is. Challenges reset in 18 hours and 52 minutes, so we can claim that. Yay. I don't know what that is. Uh, hyenas. Nope. Bloodstone. No. Lotus Flower? No. Defeat Exiles. Eh, okay. Not bad. Oh, our food went away. Shoot. That exotic meat, or whatever the heck it was called. Damn. Alright. Well, we'll take a second here. We'll uh, heat up the food that we do have. I think we have a couple of... Oh, well... Are you cooked? No, you're not. All right, you can get thrown out. Come on, where's my clicker? There we go. Uh, we can throw you in. We can throw you in and we can throw you in and we can start. And we don't have any more branches. All right, so we'll see how much w how much uh, food and stuff is made there. But essentially, guys, I know this episode's kind of been all over the place. I do apologize and everything, but Moon's coming up at this point. We pretty much have gone over another journey step. We've made a base. We got a little bit of food cooking. Next episode, we're going to do a little bit of adventuring, I think. We're just going to kind of figure out what's around us, figure out what else we can kill along the way. I'd like to get a few more levels if we can, but that is going to wrap up this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And on top of that, if you guys are enjoying this kind of content, you want to see more of this content, make sure you hit that like, make sure you subscribe again. And that's going to wrap this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.